Hello beautiful and handsome Capricorn and welcome to my channel. This is a hummingbird tarot. Today I'm going to be channeling a message for you um, for this upcoming eclipse season. Um, I believe that the eclipse is in Taurus right now and um, will have a big effect um, especially in relationships and just transformation in general in your life. So let's see what's going on for you here with uh, what is your spirit guides? What do your spirit guides want you to know, Capricorn? What do you need to focus on during this powerful eclipse season? For Taurus, please thank you, spirit. Clear guided messages here. Okay, so yes, this is death. And that is just the pentacle of that transformation happening in your life. So you're transitioning out of something major in your life um, and learning that death, that death is an ending, which is merely bringing in these new beginnings here for you uh, to, um, with this Taurus eclipse season, Capricorn. So death, what is dying within your life right now? Um, this could be some a literal death um, that is changing your life in a major way. Um, it's been very difficult for you. A job, situation, a relationship, whatever that is for you, however that resonates for you. This is affecting your sacral chakra, you know, just really shaking you up. Um, your creativity, um, the way that you'll be doing things in your life. Um, and then we have blame. So accept responsibility for my own well-being. So don't blame others here for the things that are falling out of your life. Um, spirit is really moving in your life, Capricorn, to um, shift you out of old ways and habits and certain thought patterns. So don't blame others. Really just accept that responsibility within yourself um, for the things that are happening in your life because everything happens within ourselves. Um, the way that we handle the outside world and the people around us is um, our own reflection. It's our own perception that how we deal with those situations and the, and the actions that we take. So maybe people aren't acting great towards you or situations are not good, but don't blame that situation. It's all a matter of perspective. So how, what is it within you that is making those particular things happen? So some difficult stuff you're going through here, Capricorn. Um, these are all solar plexus type energy here too, I'm feeling for you. Just really just standing in your own power and your own self-worth here. Um, with the self-esteem coming out here too, just know that you possess gifts uh, in your soul that are benefiting you and others in your life. So just know that, embrace that, love yourself, working on a self-love practice, taking care of yourself on a daily basis, um, just recognizing, being aware of all the things that you do in a day, what you do for yourself, what you do for others, how you take care of the things and and people in your life on a daily basis, recognize those things. You do so much for others. So just take that in and, and love yourself for all those things that you do, okay? Because you've been going through a difficult time, I'm feeling. Um, so just be gentle with yourself right now. It's really important that you do that. Okay, what else is coming in for Capricorn and death? Let's see. Let's start with some clear guided messages here for what is coming in with this death, this transformation, these endings that are bringing in new beginnings. Okay, so we have the nine of wands here. So setting clear and strong boundaries for yourself in this time is really going to be important. And the sun, it did come out reversed. I don't do reversals. But the sun, reverse or upright, is a very bright and special card. So, yeah. And with the page of pentacles and the four of pentacles here, um, you know, you have kind of shut down, closed off a little bit your heart. And um, 
maybe even your crown chakra, you know, you're not tapping into spirituality, trusting in your intuition as much as you should be. Um, and that's why the sun probably came out reversed, you know, but you are headed to the sun right now, setting clear boundaries, protecting what you have accomplished so far is going to be super important for you to get into that sun energy fully. And with the page of pentacles, I'm feeling like getting yourself out there, um, learning something new, um, getting a mentorship where, you know, you can really just hone your skills right now is going to help you achieve whatever you need to achieve for these new beginnings that are coming into your life. Um, and help you heal as well and build your self esteem. Um, and so, and so on so many levels, that page of pentacles I'm feeling is really important for you. Um, so you're holding on tight to things and feeling like you don't want to lose any more here with the four of pentacles. So, uh, that's totally understandable, but now it's time to kind of loosen your grip a little bit and, um, take, have some joy and be a little bit freer with yourself, with your money, with your time, and just go out and enjoy the world a little bit and don't hold things so tightly to your chest right now. Okay, I know it's been hard for you that you have lost some things that have been really important to you. But spirit is working in your life right now. So know that, uh, know that Capricorn, that spirit is really working um, at taking out the things that are no longer serving in your life and bringing in these new beginnings. Okay. And then we have the queen of swords. Like I said, I'm feeling solar plexus energy. So yeah, you are, you know, stepping in your power, being your authentic self with the queen of swords, speaking your truth, even though it might hurt others sometimes, just do it with love. Oh, it's seek. Wow. Ace of pentacles. And it's funny because this page of pentacles here with the dog and the one pentacle was really bringing up images of the ace of pentacles. So yes, new beginnings, new opportunities are coming your way. The universe is handing them to you. Just be open to these opportunities. Grab them while they are being handed to you. Don't let them pass you by. And we have the page of cups. So just getting back into the world, enjoying things to their fullest, having gratitude, um, seeing just the beauty and the smallest things is um, really helping you get out of any sort of um, blame of, to others because you're, you're having this renewed perspective and seeing the beauty and joy in the smallest of things. And it's radiating now from you or it's, it's trying to come into your life. Um, you have nobody to blame um, for any situation here. Just standing in your power and knowing that you are fully responsible for your well-being and for um, either taking or leaving behind the opportunities right now that Spirit is offering you, that the universe is offering you. So just be aware. Keep watching. Keep looking for that. Yes, you have victory too. Um a lot of this came out reverse. A lot of these cards came out reverse. And I'm just feeling like all you have to do is change that attitude and be being responsible for the things that are happening in your life, even if they're hard, being responsible, taking res responsibility for your own well-being, loving yourself, taking care of yourself. You know, if you're feeling like crap, you know, and your muscles are hurting, go get a massage. If you're... Um, you know, feeling drained, make sure that you're resting enough. You have this victory. You're coming into great victory and it's time of celebration, a time to play, a time to tap into the joys of that inner child within you now and step into your power. Be authentically true to yourself and don't forget to take the opportunities that are being handed to you. Be free, be open to take them, you know, don't let things, fears, um, negativity or anybody else telling you that you shouldn't take them because you are being guided now by the universe to take these wonderful new opportunities coming into your life.
Okay, now some self-esteem stuff is coming up here. So what, realizing that you have gifts and things to offer the world and being strong and powerful in that belief and knowing is going to be really good for you. Okay, so let's see what's coming out here for self-esteem. Oh, wow, the lovers. So building that self-esteem and knowing how beautiful that you are is bringing in love, strong love. Again, the queen of swords, being authentically yourself, not worrying about what others think about the beautiful self that you are, just allowing that to be and speaking your truth um, because that's going to be bringing in love to your life. That's going to be attracting someone to you who thinks that you're super hot. Um, and they want to be with you because of who you are. So build up that self-esteem, Capricorn. You've got it going on here. And you're attracting love into your life. Keep working on that. Go into the mirror and tell yourself how hot and amazing you are. Beautiful. All the things that you do in a day for everybody else. And then we have two of swords. Yeah, so you're kind of, you're at this crossroads and you're kind of not seeing it and you're not sure, but um, Spirit here is calling for you to be balanced and get grounded and trust in the universe right now because you may be feeling blind, but you are being guided to which is your right path. And then when you stand in your authentic truth here and really just stand up for yourself and be true to yourself, this is going to become clear and the blindfold is going to come off. Okay, that one kind of flipped out. And the emperor. Okay, so this is this is a, a really strong and beautiful um, connection coming in here. Um, and it's coming in this, this stability and um, strong foundation here for you. So, and also it's calling to you know, maintain those strong boundaries here that you've started to work on here. You might be feeling beat up here, but you're changing that into this really powerful, strong self. And you know who you are, and you're not going to let anybody take you off that strong foundation that you've built through all these changes in your life. So strong foundation, although this could be the um, your man coming in, Aries Energy, um, who is really strong and stable and um, there for you 100%. Okay, or a woman, it doesn't need to be whatever you're coming man, woman, whatever. It's just the strong masculine energy um, embodied in whatever body you guys are in that's perfect um, for you. So it could be that and it also could be you transforming this kind of like I'm beat up, but I'm standing my ground to this like, I am standing my ground and nobody is going to mess with me. You know, that kind of energy. So really strong, beautiful energy here for you guys, Capricorn. You guys are strong and powerful. So just know that. Know that about yourself and trust in that. Okay, let's see what's coming in for the botanical inspiration. And then we'll get some love messages because I'm seeing love here for you. Oh, too many. Do that again. Seeing really a strong, passionate love coming in. Okay, so we have false indigo. I'll put that over there. We'll actually put it over here. Immersion and intuition. Oh yeah, here we go. Your immersion and intuition here. Page of Cups is about intuition as well. Um, so when you reach the end of what you should know. You will be at the beginning of what you should sense. So kind of letting go of the mind, getting into um, meditation a little bit here. You're emerging, the immersion of um, mind, body, spirit to really taking care of yourself, building up your self-esteem, being responsible for your well-being here is going to help you really tap into your intuition, your inner knowing. Um, and being able to trust in it, 
This is summertime energy, like midsummer to late summer energy here too. So you might be feeling like the, this blindfold is finally coming off around that time. Okay, so let's get some lovers healing cards here. So take this how this resonates. This could be healing. This could be love. This could be um, whatever you need it to be. Use your intuition here. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows. I love that card and it always reminds me of the Sting song. If you love somebody, set them free because they will always come back to you. You know, you want to give your partner the freedom to be who they are and they will do the same for you. And love never dies. So, you know, don't be afraid to let them have their freedom and be who they are. You know, you don't need to claim each other to love. Okay, so that's a powerful one. I love that card. Okay. Now we have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so whatever you're holding on to, with whoever you can't forgive, letting go of that resentment towards them and hurt that they've caused you and, um, you know, probably damaged your self-esteem, was part of this difficult journey that you were on. Maybe there's some blame going on there. Letting go of the blame, letting go of the hurt, forgiving yourself in this situation is just as important as forgiving them. And forgiveness of somebody isn't saying what you did to me is okay, I'm letting it go. No, it's not letting it affect you any longer, not letting it block you from the blessings and the, the new things that are coming into your life. Okay, so I know you guys know that. So remember that. And wow, and I love it. It came right down here with the in the row with the, the lovers. There is hot passion coming into your life. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present moment. Enjoy it. And building that self-esteem is the key to that magnetic, seductive quality that you are starting to build around yourself. So know that, love that about yourself and you rock just know that you rock it i've got i totally know that you've got this okay so let's see what else is coming in for love let's get some more specific love messages here for capricorn capricorn what is going on with love spirit please thank you Ooh, sticky. Got something quite precise here. Okay, come on. The Capricorn love. Give us some love. Okay. Oh, a wedding. Oh, isn't that nice? This situation involves a marriage. So, like I said, take that how it resonates. You might not be interested in marriage, but it's a connection that's going to last. It's going to be a committed thing that you are just, this is like, this is my person and I don't care. And it came out on Love Never Claims, which is interesting, you know, Love Never Claims, you know, marriage, I feel like is a, is a huge claiming thing. Um, but really it's just an energy, like this is my person. I love you, but I'm still going to let you be free and be who you are. I'm not going to claim you. Children, children are um, being affected and are affecting your love life. Um, just let them in on it. Let them, you know, get involved. Uh, you know, share the love. And um, so just know that children, your person may have children. You might have children. And just know that they are part of that journey as well. And, you know, sometimes we tend to forget, I mean, we tend to forget about our kids a little bit when we fall in love. Um, but you know, it's a journey for them too. And they, they need to feel comfortable with that person. So letting them in and letting them be a part of the whole situation, I think is really important. Okay. So take, but take the, how it resonates for you. I'm just feeling like the children are a big consideration. 
you have children or there may be children coming into this relationship. You know, pregnancy, new life. And release your ex. So again, here I'm feeling like for some of you, this could be this death situation and ending of a relationship that you fully haven't really let go. Releasing that, releasing the energy of that and knowing that this new, you don't want to bring baggage in from your old relationship into your new relationship. Let this new relationship be exactly what it is new and let them be exactly who they are. Don't um, put expectations or anything else on this new relationship based on your old relationship, your ex. So the time has come to clear your energy of that, that ex person in your life because this person coming in is not resembling them at all. And sometimes when emotions are running high and with this card, emotions are a natural, nat natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you mu must let go of resentment. So I, these go hand in hand you know, sweet Capricorn. So please keep that in mind. You don't want to bring in old muck into a new beautiful relationship. Okay. This is all I am seeing for you. I am sending you so much love and light and please like, and subscribe if this connected with you. When you like, and subscribe, we can better exchange energy and I can get readings that resonate for you better, um, as we can connect and, um, and uh, you are co-creating this message as much as I am. Okay, sending you love. Bye-bye.